Hello, everybody. Marcus Brown with MLC CAD Systems, and I've got a quick one for you. Uh, I've got this part that looks like it's a brass component, and I want to make sure that that is uh, shown everywhere that this component is used. But if I go to the top level assembly, you can see that that's not looking correct at the top level assembly. Now, the most common and the quickest way to diagnose an appearance issue is to just click on the component drop out the appearances dialog and look, and you can see there's different layers of paint. So at the part level, this slightly darker gray was applied, but then the individual body has a lighter white applied. And then at the face was that final brass, which is what we want to show here. Now, there doesn't appear to be any appearance on top of that brass, which means it's not at the component level and it's not in this assembly instance. It must be somewhere else most likely at a top level assembly override. Now, if you click remove all part appearances, that's gonna remove all these, including the ones I want, that brass. We don't wanna remove the part appearances. We're looking at assembly overrides. So if I click here, you can see that it's overridden at the assembly level, not the part level, the assembly level. And this happens to be at this sub-assembly. I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see that this is where this, this appearance has been applied. There is that appearance, and so either one of these locations, I can come in here and click this red X, remove the top level assembly override, and now at the part and the sub-assembly and the top assembly level, everything is correct. So anytime you see something that doesn't look right, hit the appearance drop down to see where it might be overridden, or click on the assembly itself over here to find any other top level assembly overrides that might be causing you problems. Hope that helped. If you found this useful, subscribe to our channel and keep an eye out for more videos.